This was how it started. The Russian onslaught. Shocking, but also shambolic. These Russian troops invaded from next door Belarus, only to be beaten back. Twelve months on, this piece of Ukraine's broken border in the north is bristling with bolstered defences. New lines of trenches where they watch and wait. No one drops their guard in case Moscow tries again. 24 лютого теж не очікував, що війська можуть зайти. Тому ми розглядаємо будь-які сюжети і готуємося до будь-яких дій. The border guards have their own eyes in the sky. Russia's Vladimir Putin hasn't changed his focus, but for now at least it's concentrated on the east and south. It's a challenge Ukraine's president addressed for the 365th night in a row. It is here on our land that we are protecting, the very values that underpin the life of not only our people, but also the vast majority of European nations. Glory to our warriors. Glory to each and every one who is now in combat. Thank you to everyone who helps us. Glory to Ukraine. This country has been gutted by war. The scars run deepest here in the east. On the first day of the second year of this war, Ukraine remains defiant, but the fighting is only set to intensify. Neither side right now has the strength to achieve a decisive victory, but no one's in the mood for compromise. It means there'll be many more painful days months, possibly even years. In the capital, each flag is planted in memory of the fallen. A growing garden of grief and sacrifice. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Kyiv.